everyone, Kim here. I'm here to talk to y'all about things that I've been loving and things that I have not been loving so much. Actually, it's just one item, so I guess you could call it a poo or whatever you want to call it. Um, so let's just jump right into it. The first item that I have been just really loving is the Tarte Tartlet Palette. This is not the Bloom. This is the, like I guess, original one. Uh, but this is the one that is very matte. There are no shimmers in this whatsoever. And I love it. Mostly because I think it has to do with I'm getting older. And so I'm finding, and this could be just totally me, not making a blanket statement, but this could be just me. Um, I'm finding as I get older, when I wear a shimmer on my eye, it has a tendency to... Insinu insinuate? I don't know what the word is. It has a tendency to make my fine lines on my eyelids really pronounced. And that's not fun. So I've been really enjoying this palette because it's all matte and they have a wide a range of colors. You know, you have your neutrals, you have your darks, you have your browns. And it's a lot of things that, especially my age, I mean, you know, we're not really going to be going out on the town with bright blue, you know, eyeshadow and all that stuff. Not that it's wrong. I'm just saying my personal opinion in my age group, which is fixing to be 40, I don't want to talk about it, that I find that neutral palettes um, ones that have a lot of not so much shimmer, I have a tendency to gravitate to because it works best on my skin. So I've been really enjoying that. But I probably would like the Bloom one as well. I mean, I'm kind of looking into getting that one. So The next item that I have been really, really, really loving is the Too Faced Born This Way. And I have Warm Nude. Yes, Warm Nude. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about my skin. My skin is the Nahabi Desert. I have very, very dry skin. Um, I have very dry hair. And it's not that I don't hydrate myself. I drink lots of water. I just am very dry. And it may be because I do work out quite a bit. Um, I do boot camps during the week and then things on the weekend. So that might be the issue. But this makeup doesn't cling to any dry um, patches that I might be experiencing that day or whatever. It is very, um, it's not matte. It kind of gives more of a powdery skin finish. I would say I've really enjoyed using it. You know, and I'm also a L'Oreal fan lover. You know, I love their True Match as well as their Lumi. I really like the Lumi because it makes me look dewy. But this is a very long lasting um, foundation that I found. It doesn't oxidize on my skin. It doesn't move around. And I don't use a lot of setting powder because I am so dry. So when I put on my makeup, you know, I put it on, I use a, blue, a beauty blender. I put on my concealer, which right now I'm using um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin. And then I just set my under eye. I don't set the rest of my face. And then I go into um, my contouring and all that jazz that we love to do to our faces. So this doesn't move around on me. It doesn't get cakey. And I've just really been enjoying it. So if you're a drier person, I would definitely look into this foundation because it's awesome. Moving on, we're going to be talking about the Wet n Wild Furby Highlighter. It's filthy. I'm so sorry. But it is the pinky gold one. Let's see. This is called Center Stage. The Center Stage Collection. It doesn't have a name. I think it's called Center Stage. So, but this has got the one that's a lot more gold. I don't know if you can see it. But I, I really like it because it... It has a gold undertone, which works really well with my skin tone. Um, I have like a pinky skin tone, and so when I put pink on top of pink, it's really pink, so I enjoy this. It seems to kind of 
neutralize that um, pinkiness that I have in my skin. So this is a really good one. It's, it's drugstore, it's cheap, um, it does what it says, it's very luminizing, it's not glittery, which is great because I hate glitter highlighters. Um, but I, I've been enjoying it and I got a 50% off. See that? Yeah. Next thing I'm going to be talking about is Hoola from Benefit, which is their bronzer. And I love their packaging. It is awesome. First it comes with this little brush. And you take it out and it's very square. And then this is the color. This is a very matte bronzer. It is very um, what you would think someone with a really great tan has. I actually didn't think I would like the brush in itself, but I do. Because when I want to really get right into this hollow of my cheek, and I have pretty pronounced cheekbones, so um, I don't have a hard time finding it. But when I, it just lays right in there and I do one swipe, and then I flick up a little bit, and then I take my actual bronzing brush and, and blend it. But this is actually a really decent brush. I mean, I've enjoyed using it. But this bronzer, it is the bomb. It has great color. It's very pigmented. Um, and I enjoy it. So, I hear my dogs. <laughs> I keep thinking somebody's here. But I've really enjoyed this bronzer. If you are looking for a bronzer for the summer or you're just wanting to try out a new one, give this one a go. It's a really great bronzer. I mean, I love it. I will, I'm, they, I'm sold for sure. Next, we're going to be moving into some, like, kind of skincare product. Not really skincare, but just, like, not makeup. So, that's what we're going to be looking at next. The next thing I'm going to be showing you is the Philosophy Pure Grace um, Shampoo, Bath, and Shower Gel. Oh, I love this stuff. I love Philosophy. I think it's a great company. I think they have really great products. I love their cleansers. Their moisturizers are phenomenal. But this is uh, this is one of my favorite. The smell. It's like it's like a clean baby or something. It is just such a good smell. You know, it smells fresh. You smell clean. This is it does not harsh on the skin. In fact, after I get done um, showering, I definitely feel more hydrated because my skin is so dry. So, but I love this um, body wash. I, I put it in my um, bubble bath. It makes a great bubble bath. It's very, uh, it has a great aroma, and I've really been enjoying this. And I think I will definitely be back purchasing it. Um, if you haven't, go into either, you know, Ulta or Sephora and give it a sniff, and I think you'll really be like, yeah, I need that in my life, because it's the bomb. We're talking about dry shampoo, which is my favorite, and this is the Dove Refresh and Care Dry Shampoo. looks like this. It has a really nice scent to it. It's not overly perfumey, which I enjoy. It's It's got... It doesn't really have a, like a baby powder smell, which you would think that's what it would have. Um, but I pay $4 for this. It's five ounces, so a little over a dollar an ounce, or a little less than a dollar an ounce. But I really enjoy this. I use a lot of dry shampoo because I don't wash my hair very often, and I work out, and I do boot camps and stuff like that. So I don't wash my hair very often. I mean, it's disgusting to talk about, I probably only wash my hair once a week. That's the reality. But if I was to wash my hair more than that, my hair would just fall apart. You know, I have a lot of hair, which, you know, it's straight and flat today, because I washed it. Um, I have a lot of hair, but my follicles are very, very skinny, so it's fine. Um, so if I wash my hair a lot, they get very brittle, and that's when my hair starts to break, it starts to frizz at the ends, and it's just not good. So I always try and not wash my hair and let the natural oils in my head kind of keep my hair in good condition, and then I use dry shampoo when I need to. And I actually will even use it on, um, like, freshly washed hair to give my roots a little bit of texture so they'll poof up because 
my hair will lay like a board if I don't put a little bit of product in it. So I've been really enjoying this. I mean, the others that I've tried um, were okay, but I this I bought this several times since then. So if you're looking for a good try, dry shampoo, give this one a try. Next is um, my very, very favorite perfume. I am not a perfume connoisseur, I guess you could say, but I wore Beautiful for a really long time, and then I wore, I wore Miracle. And, well, my Mir I wore Miracle a lot, and then um, I started wearing Beautiful because that was the perfume that my mother wore, and she passed away a couple of years ago, and so I started wearing Beautiful. And I loved it because it reminded me of her, and it kept her close to me, I felt like, but it wasn't my scent, if that makes any sense. And so I was in Sephora one day, and I just happened to be in the perfume little section, and I was smelling different perfumes. And I love the designer Tory Burch. I have, you know, Tory Burch shoes. I would love a Tory Burch purse, but they're kind of expensive. Um, I, you know, I just love her style. And so I decided to give this a try, and it has been my perfume ever since. It is one that I will go back to time and time again. It has a very fresh, clean, a little floral, a little spice tone to it, and I just really, really like it. This is my third bottle, um, but like I said, I'm not a big perfume connoisseur, and when I find something that I love, I have a tendency to stick with it. That's something that I'm going to try and change and kind of step outside my box and try different types of perfume. I think I'll probably do the roller ball because, I mean... This was like $80, $90 for this bottle, and it's two ounces. So, yeah, I'm not going to be spending $80 or $90 to try out a perfume if I'm not really for sure. So, the roller balls are really a great option, but if you're looking for a new perfume, go give this a smell. It's awesome. All right, guys, it's come to that portion of the video where I'm going to talk about the thing that I'm not liking, and I'm really actually very disappointed in this. It is the MAC Powder Bronzer. I am new to this bronzer. I got it in December. Um, I had a gift card to Nordstrom, and so I decided I was going to get me some MAC things, and this was one of the things that I decided to get. I think it's a beautiful color. It is a beautiful, you know, bronzy color. It's matte. There's no sheen to it. The problem that I have with it is that there is no color payoff. Like, I feel like I have to really get in there and, you know, scrub it on my face just to get any kind of color. Unlike Hoola, you know, from Benefit, it's like one tap and you've got, like, color. You know, and this wasn't cheap, so it kind of sucks. But... I'm, I'm disappointed in the product because I really thought that this was going to be a great bronzer. So what I normally have started doing with this product, just so that I can use it and I don't feel like I've wasted my money, is I will take a big fluffy brush and I will swirl it in here and I will just kind of dust it all over my face to um, give me a little bit of color because it's winter, it's fixing to be February, and this girl is white. But that's what I've been using for this product. This, I mean... I really wanted to love it and it just there's no color payoff so if you're looking for a bronzer I hate to say it if you want something that doesn't that you know you have to sit there and build up and build up and build up then go with this one but if you want something that's like one swipe you got your color and you blend it out and you're good and you're out the door then don't get this one I just I, maybe it's mine maybe I got a faulty one and it's just crappy but anyway that's my crappy one for what I've not been loving here lately. That's all I have for you today of things that I've been loving and one thing that I haven't been loving. Um, I hope y'all are having a fabulous day. It's almost the weekend. I can't wait. We are having game night with friends and possibly going out to dinner, having a date night, so it should be a really great weekend. I hope everyone has one as well. Please be safe and thanks for watching. Love ya.